I'm Nash Quinn. I'm a second year graduate student in the metals and jewelry program here at Edinburgh University. I, I sort of discovered metal smithing accidentally. I just took the class in undergrad with, with no idea what to expect from it. And I quickly learned that it just sort of suited my sensibilities. There was something about the, the scale and the sort of emphasis on craft that I really appreciated and I didn't really experience so much in my other classes. There's something really satisfying about making this object that you send out there in the world and people appreciate, people find meaning in it. In a, that's, you know, it just feels good to do that. There's work that you can make that's, that's based on an object, a thing that you can hold in your hand and, and is wonderful. And then there's, there's work that's like totally experience based, like a lot of installation art and stuff like that. And, and my goal right now is to find a balance between those two. Like work that, that is remarkable for the object that it is and, and for the experience that it gives you. My work is basically a complex examination of, of what it's like to be a sort of rather socially inept individual, making work that, that forces you to interact socially with someone uh, through this physical object. I chose it because uh, Cappy, Kennard, and Sue Amendolara, the faculty in the, in the metals and jewelry program here, they're really incredible. You know, I, I saw I saw Cappy's work in a book long before I knew who she was, and I looked at it and I was like, well, that's not that's not possible. Like, how was that thing ever made? And so when I when I realized that she taught here and that there was a graduate program here and it was it was a really good program, I was like, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to uh, to learn with with people like. Cappy and Sue, they're, they're just, they're really the, the lifeblood of the program here. Um.